prison food as bad as they say? Let's find out. I'll be eating only jail meals for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And don't worry, I don't need luck. So bring it on. But before we do, let's switch into something more appropriate. Oh my God, I am a bad, bad boy. I look like I wanna hurt someone. Now let's be real, they're not serving caviar behind bars. It's often made with the cheapest ingredients possible to feed a big number of people. Think of it like a very bad school lunch. Except you have to eat it every day and you can't go home to make yourself a sandwich. But hey, they don't have to do the dishes. Let's start with breakfast. Six ounces of pineapple juice, eight ounce, 2% milk, and coffee. Half cup cream of wheat. One slice whole wheat bread, not toasted for some reason. One margarine, three ounces of scrambled eggs, made from a dehydrated egg powder. Here we go, prison breakfast, the first meal of the day. Can't say I've ever had three drinks before in one sitting. The eggs and toast look fine. The cream of wheat is very questionable. It's just something I would never eat. Didn't even know that that was a food. This is the first time I've even heard about its existence. Cream of wheat. It sounds like bread soup. One ex-con said the eggs are the nastiest thing I've ever ate. Another con said they serve breakfast at 4.30 a.m. so you never gotta sleep through the night. This is breakfast stuff saw with my own eyes. Said right on the bag, not for human consumption. Sounds like this meal would be a lot worse if I was actually in prison. Let's start with a cup of joe. <laughs> I hate straight coffee. I have never drinking pineapple juice besides with vodka. <laughs> Nasty. It's just too much going on, but I would drink it if it's the only thing I got. Prison meals are usually only carbs, and when new prisoners start eating them, they're constipated for days. You gotta get used to being in the clink. Oh God, I haven't drinking straight milk since school. <laughs> Not a big fan of milk. Does anyone actually like eggs or are we all just lying to each other? You see, it's better with salt and pepper, but prison food doesn't have that. Prisons do not care if the food tastes good. They wanna do the bare minimum to feed you. So you gotta get used to no seasoning. I feel like there's no way for bread and butter to be bad. I just wish it was toasted. Mm. Wow, that's ass. Who knew toasting would be such a difference? Mm. Wow, that actually tastes terrible. I would die in prison. Good God, I don't want to try the cream of wheat. That is poo. Isn't this what British people eat? Oh, what the f I need to try that one more time to make sure. Hmm. Hey, actually it's growing on me. Yo, that's a bad thing on a plate. Oh. At first taste, it's very weird, but hey, I got used to it and it's pretty fire. So as you can see, this is very high carbs and very low protein. Obviously, it's bad for us to have no nutrition and to be underfed and to eat things that we don't want to eat. This meal is 600 calories and costed $3 to make. I promise y'all, I would never last in prison. I hate gross food. I don't know how to be an alpha male and I don't know how to fight. Thank God I'm a good boy. Hopefully, I'll never go to prison. I'll just keep avoiding my warrant. I'd have to rate this a one out of 10. And that's because it's the lowest thing I could even give it. I swear to God, this meal was Garbage. Jesus Christ. Next meal is lunch, and hopefully that's better, but doesn't sound promising. Coffee. Milk. One slice of whole wheat bread. Still not toasted. Half cup green beans. Apple cobbler. A fourth cup mashed potatoes. Three ounce of roast turkey, or what some call mystery meat. Fourth cup of cornbread stuffing with gravy. All right, I decided to have lunch outside. This is the first time today that we get meat, but if you're in prison, that's probably the last thing you want. This hexcon said, there's a chunk of meat that we used to call cat head. Looked and probably tasted like cat's head. Jesus Christ, prison sounds like a nightmare. I'm scared of my constipation after this. This user said TMI, but I feel like every inmate it just smells so bad from this diet. Can't wait for the poop, I guess. So, all right, here we go. Cheers to coffee, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. God, that just tastes so bad. People that like black coffee are dead inside. Wait, I have a life hack. Take the milk, <gasps> creamer. That looks way better. That is so much better. That is so much better. If I go to prison, I'm doing that. Cheers to another flavorless piece of bread. Mm, yeah, that sucks. I actually cannot have another bite of that. You know, I don't really mind green beans. They're kind of slept on. At some prisons, they actually have prison farms where these would be grown. Mmm, yeah, I like it. But then you realize that you'd be eating green beans every day and probably end up hating them. I feel like stuffing is actually a pretty cool thing to have in prison. I mean, that's a high quality meal to me. Mm. I have frozen pizza every day, so this seems like a nice meal. Here's to the mystery meat. All right, uh, oh, yeah, I get it now. That is the farthest thing from fancy. <laughs> when you swallow, it just shivers down your spine. Okay, I'm excited for this apple cobbler. I have an enormous sweet tooth, I must admit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's delicious. Just like grandma used to make.
Mm, might have to eat all this. This meal is a whopping 600 calories and $3 to make. So, so far, I'll be having 1,200 calories. If my dinner continues at the same pace, I'll actually be below my healthy daily calorie intake. And since the meat is mystery meat, it's probably filled with carbs and fats, meaning I've had almost no protein today. Protein makes you feel full. And I can tell you already, I feel very unsatisfied with everything I've ate today. I am still hungry, but I don't want this. It's currently nighttime, and this is something that I've never said before. I am not excited for dinner. Half cup chilled apricots. What the f is an apricot? Milk. Coffee. One cup of tossed salad. One cup chicken and dumplings. Delicious mystery meat. I'm not sure if I could have coffee and milk again after this. More mystery meat. Yay. You know what I think? I think they add the milk and coffee to make the meal look bigger. Check this out. Now it seems really small. What's going on here? An ex-con said, when we had chicken, it was undercooked, but most of our meals were undercooked. They made a chicken type stew with leftovers, but it was mostly bones and a few veggies. This chicken crab must be a duplicate of that. I don't think I've ever heard of an apricot before. Bro. Oh, Jesus. That was hot ass. I've never been a big salad guy, honestly. I stick to my word that salad is for rabbits. It's just not appetizing. All right, that's kind of fire. At the end of the day, I don't think anyone really likes salad. Like, bro, have you ever heard of a grilled cheese? Gonna pour my milk in my coffee, F this. That just makes so much difference, oh my God. I feel like if I was in prison though, I'd probably have like eight coffees a day, F it. All right, here we go, chicken and dumplings. Hmm, oh, okay. That's so good, it's like a chicken pot pie without the crust. I could actually eat a whole gallon of this. You see, I like it because I made it. If I was eating the prison version of this, I think I would throw up. I feel like the scariest thing in prison is to have beef with the chef. They'd probably wipe your ham sandwich in between their butt cheeks. Why am I still full? Why am I still full? This is not enough food, I'm gonna die here. This is 600 calories and costed $3 to make. I'm a big boy. This doesn't fill me up, man. Even though that meal is certified booty cheeks, it was definitely better than the breakfast and lunch. So I'd have to give it a two. Now, what do I do about my hunger? It's rumbling. So what do you do in prison if you ate all your meals and you're still hungry? Thank God for the prison commissary. The prison commissary is a store that's operated within the prison. It provides inmates with the ability to purchase items, which include food. Regular prison meals are very bland and not versatile. So that's why so many inmates love the commissary food. One of the most popular items at the commissary is ramen noodles. Ramen is a currency in prison. In fact, it passed cigarettes as the most popular currency. Someone said, my brother traded so many ramen packs that he actually got a cigarette, a McDonald's cheeseburger, and a tattoo all in one day. I feel like a dirty dog, but the commissary food is literally my dream food. Mm. Dude, come on. You could give me a thousand dollar steak and I will think a pop tart tastes better. It's true. By the way, I've never had this chili lime flavor, but it's kind of booty cheeks, but I'm sure in prison, it's immaculate. I haven't had ramen noodles since I was a teenager. And right now I'm questioning why. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. If God really loves us, why does he make the best food kill us faster? So we can go to heaven faster. Well, I'm probably going to hell. This is a big currency in prison. Trades, bribes, and satisfying that sugar craving. If I was in prison, I'd eat 10 of these mother a day. I'd do some crazy for a honey bun, baby. Let me tell you that. One night, the munchies led to us raiding the kitchen. Found some honey buns. His friend opened it and looked at him wistfully and goes, you know, I watched someone get stabbed over these before. Oh my God. Look at that glaze. The fact that this is one of the most prized possessions in prison makes you really feel thankful for the free world. Oh my God, that smells so good. It just melts in your mouth. Oh my God, dude. I hate my sweet tooth. I could just see myself in my cell depressingly eating 100 honey buns a day. I mean, I don't gotta look good for anyone in there. And food does make me happy. They say that prison is painfully boring. And I eat when I'm bored, so prison Jake would be a scary sight. Did you know that there are chips that you could only get if you go to prison? The whole shebang's chips can only be found in penitentiaries. They apparently taste like barbecue, salt and vinegar, and other flavors all mixed together. Now, since I haven't been arrested, I can't get them. But they say that Zapp's Voodoo Chips are the closest thing to it. New Orleans kettle style. They taste like they've had every flavor of chip dumped on them. They're great. You wanna know why this is gonna be good? Because New Orleans has the best food you could find, I swear. Oh my God, whoa. Bro, what flavor is that? Oh my God. I could actually eat like 30 of these. 
I get it. I might have to commit a crime to get some of these. The flavor, the crunch, the happiness. This is my new favorite chip, and I found out about it eating prison meals. This is awesome. The cafeteria never has crispy vegetables. It's usually just a big mush, and that makes Big Pickles a popular commissary purchase. And if inmates are lucky, they can find the spicy kind because the food is very bland and you want that spice. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. Pickles are cool and all, but they're just not awesome. Oh my God. This entire pickle is only 10 calories. Maybe pickles are kind of awesome. That means if I had 2000 calories in a day, I could have 200 pickles and I wouldn't gain weight. Someone please test this theory. But if you die, it wasn't my fault. As we now know, the proteins and meats in the cafeteria are a sad sight. So a lot of people purchase summer sausages. It's also a good ingredient for prisoners to make their own makeshift recipes. Here's the big boy. I feel like rednecks eat these to prove they're manly. Is it just me or does everyone get their dads these for Christmas? What the crap? What is this? Do I have to uncircumcise it? <sighs> I think I could get a lot done with this in prison. There's, it's just so big. Hey, don't be thinking that. I'm just saying it's so much meat. Like this is like three meals in one. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Whoa, what the heck? I need crackers for this. What are those little white things in there? It's freaking me out. Oh, dude. I feel like a certified badass eating this. This makes me just want to pull out a cigarette and ride the Harley. Now, of course, you know candy has to be popular. Sugar is very addictive. I have a huge sweet tooth. This would be the main thing that I get from the commissary. I'm going to be honest. This is just an excuse for me to eat candy. I honestly believe that I have not had a Milky Way since it was in my trick-or-treat bag when I was like eight. I always thought this was more of an old person candy. Oh, yeah. Whoa, goo. Holy sh Dude, Milky Ways are awesome. Oh my God, this makes me feel good in many places. This is the best thing that I have had all day. Wow. Imagine being a prisoner, hours and hours and hours of staring at a wall go by, and then you end up with a Snickers in your hands. I would start tearing up. Remind me to never, ever, ever do something illegal again, because I want to never eat those meals again. I'll keep eating the commissary food because that's at 7-Eleven. Shop my merchandise no name, 30% off everything. You're gonna love it. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna enjoy these. Love you guys so much. Bye.